I'm Ian McIntosh. You're watching Behind the Line. Danger Shark. Four or five days ago, we were flying around in some zones out here and we saw a peak off in the distance. It was pretty eye-catching. It was a definitely a no-mistake line. Looking at it, it looked completely gnarly and there was a double shrun that if you fell into it, you probably would never come out. So we've been building up our confidence and this morning when we saw full blue, we decided that now is the time. When we flew in to get towed in up top, there was a massive cornice up at the entrance, so he had to come back around and drop me a little bit lower on these rocks. It was a full hover drop off. So that was a really cool aspect of it. Mac teed something up that was pretty heavy, had a ton of exposure, it was like fall line uh, into cliffs the whole way down, but greased it, sent off a massive slough cloud. We were expecting hard pack conditions before the Burks run, and sure enough, it was bulletproof. All I had to do was get across this Burks run and I would be safe. No, no, no. Oh, look at her. Whoa! You scared me there, dude. Sorry. That's icy. Sorry to freak you guys out there. Angel, be really careful around the Shrine. And it's a big opportunity to ski bigger lines than I ever have before. Um, but, you know, with that comes a lot of uh, thought behind your lines. He just had confidence to get in there and ski down over exposure and do it smart and safe and hit the exact exit that she wanted to. That right there, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll ski with this girl anywhere for sure. She's legit. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We're safe. We're safe. That's all that matters. We uh, we did our research leading up to it and felt super confident, and it went off without a hitch. Other than Liger almost falling in the Brooks run, but he was fine, he had lots of room. <laughs> feeling alive, feeling alive. That'll go down as probably one of my favorite runs of the trip, probably one of my favorite runs of my life. 